Hello, viewers. Welcome to Scientific Investing. And it has been a good week in the market. And uh, I, I hope you saw our last video, which we released last week, where we discussed the top uh, five kind of small cap interesting stocks, which, you know, we were researching. And there was a reason why, you know, I made this video at that time. We will discuss more about it in this current video. Uh, but many of you know that uh, by profession, uh, I have been a data scientist and my job is to uh, look through data and then try to find, you know, insights, you know, for the clients that has been my you know, work background. And that is what I also try to do in the investing or trading world. And uh, based on my videos also, you would have seen that I give a lot of emphasis on data. So you would have seen me presenting uh, financial data. You have seen me presenting technical data, quants data. Uh, now this video, we are focusing on Google data and still it is relevant to market. And uh, so the question is, can Google tell us something about the market? And that is what we are going to discuss. And uh, why, uh, you know, this concept, why this curiosity to go and, you know, search through the Google, uh, that curiosity, again, it comes from an interesting concept in uh, data science and analytics. So in data science, there is a concept of alternate data. So the concept of alternate data is taking some indirect data and then try to do a prediction, which is relevant in the business context. So here, when it comes to stock market, the core data is the fundamental and technical data. Uh, but could there be a source of alternate data which can tell us about the market? And that is where you know Google comes in. And I don't know how many of you are aware of uh, this Google service called Google Trends. In case you are not aware, uh, let me just highlight you what is Google Trends. So in short, Google Trends or Trends data is basically the data curated out of Google search. So we all search so many different things. Like uh, when you are researching a stock, you type uh, some stock name uh, ana analysis or research report. Or when you analyze a sector, you give like auto sector research report, finance sector research report. And across the world, so many people day in, day out, they do billions of search. What Google does, it tries to, you know, it tries to bring all the research keywords at one place. It tries to analyze if there is any pattern in the search keyword. So if there is a particular search keyword which becomes popular at a specific time, you can see the trends. Uh, like when election is going on, the politics word might get, become very popular. And that is what uh, Google does. And you can see some of the charts like uh, US presidential election. So this is how it spiked up or uh, uh, this is 2016 scenario. So this is what Google Trends does. Uh, now, in order to understand what we are going to study, how we can use Google Trends for stock market understanding, we need to understand little about how this trends work and how this data work. So whenever you look at this keyword, and this is a data from 2013 to 17, and it peaked here. So what Google does, it tries to do a little bit of data cleaning and normalization. And wherever any kind of search reached its peak, that becomes a score of 100. And then with respect to that 100, whether before or after time, whatever was the proportional search, it allocates a score between 0 to 100. So this is when you are searching some single item. But when you are searching multiple item, like here, it compares both the items and then whichever is most popular in a given time frame, you know, that becomes higher value and then proportionally the other search item, you get a score. So this is how your typical Google search behaves. So now given you have understood how Google search uh, works, let us try to understand how we can get insights about market using uh, Google trends. So again, in last uh, few videos, my effort has been to highlight, you know, how to understand the market better. Uh, I have tried to highlight all this myth that one cannot time the market. I don't think that is true and you would have known. So I have given you enough data points on how to, you know, not exactly find the top or bottom, but how to get the market directionally right. So that you don't buy when there is too much of froth in the market and you buy when the market is attractive. And I have given you certain fundamental indicators. I have given you technical indicators. I have given you quants indicators. So here is a behavioral indicator. And this indicator is search of certain keywords on Google Trends. So what you're seeing on your screen right now is the Google trend of this word called multi-bagger. And you'll know whenever, you know, 
in market money making looks easy a lot of new people come and they feel money making easy they can generate multi baggers like anything and this is where the search of this keyword increases and if you see this history in 2008 january this peaked up from nowhere then 2009 again when the market went it peaked up then in 2018 january it peaked up and recently also in 2021 and it peaked up so this is how you can use trend data but this is just one keyword uh, is this could be maybe you know out of just coincidence so let's look at more keywords this is another keyword when again you know things like trading and all it becomes very easy so here i have tried to search for this word intraday trading and day trading and you can see again in 2008 and 2009 and it was very very popular then nobody dared to trade looks like between 2010 to 2016 until unless again uh, until again in 2017 and this word became popular but that time this intraday trading was not that popular in fact multi bagger was more popular and in 2020 when the covid came and you know some wave of trading through social media youtube whatever has happened see again how did it spike in the 2021 end and again it has fallen flat and looks like now slowly people have burned their fingers and you know they are getting back and nobody is interested because the score has gotten down from 50 to 25 but let me tell you the kind of wave it had for intraday trading in 2009 uh we didn't yet touch in 2021 at its peak so look at more from a recent time perspective how the trend whether it's going up or coming down so your question will be uh, how do we do it uh, i saw the images but how do we go to google trends and how do we see and monitor these things so let's go and do it so go to google.com google.co.in and just type google trends and when you type google trends you get this google trends website and what you need to do is you need to search a topic so let me give another keyword so you know whenever a bull market happens and money becomes easy everybody gets interested in uh small cap stocks because it feels that is the easiest way for faster wealth creation so i go here and i type small cap mutual fund and i select the topic finance because we are dealing more with the financial data now we have this trend from 2007 to 2022 and uh, you can see december 2017 you can see what was the kind of euphoria and this was the time when you know the whole sme and all got listed uh, uh, sme stocks so a lot of euphoria and then we know what happened to small cap stocks in 2018 19 and see how people literally lost interest and the bottom got created somewhere here september 19 even in post covid when the market ran up initially people were not interested in small cap stocks that much looks like at least the mutual fund it's recently in july and then you know uh, jan this is where you know the interest peaked up and if you go and if you see the small cap index so let me show you so december 27 and uh, August twenty one and Jan twenty two, so December two thousand seventeen and August two thousand twenty one and Jan two thousand twenty two. This is where it peaked out, and if we see the small cap index here, this was the time which was almost Jan eighteen, and then if you see this particular thing, somewhere between August October twenty one to Jan two thousand twenty two, small cap peaked out. so this is a very good indicator the thing is it might have gone from here to here but we need to see with reference to market how the market is behaving but of course it tells you when the market is not interested and when the market is interested and if you see 2011 to 16 period was very very different there was no interest at all and that is why i have been telling the current market is still a much better market than you know uh what we saw in 2011 to 14 or or even if you see the 2000 you know 2018 19 market the interest came down from 100 to 25 but it didn't go like you know uh, somewhere like 2011 to 14 and now if we see currently it has come down from you know uh the score of 70 to almost 40 which is 42 which is almost a 50% reduction it may, it may not be like the worst case scenario of like uh, recent 2018 19 but it is coming closer and that is why i felt this is a good time now to start looking at small cap 
uh, even though let me tell you a uh, small cap uh, may not uh, still be technically out of uh, you know would still uh, it is not a clear uptrend it might have formed the base we will come to know but these are the ways we use alternate data to identify insights but the uses of google trends uh, in stock research and analysis market analysis it doesn't stop here so let me show you a few more things so here what i have tried to do let's say we are doing a research on the amc sector to understand which mutual funds are doing how and uh, i have picked four mutual funds hdfc mutual fund nippon mutual fund icici parapari ppfs and i am just doing a google search of these four terms for last three years for finance web search and you can see that uh, the relative popularities this is one way to assess many times even when we are not sure of the company its products this is one way to do or we want to do some relative comparison now when i do a comparison of these and try to do a geographical comparison and let's see we are comparing between icici and uh, you know parag parik so it says uh, within this geography for parag parik which is the most popular region and then which is the next popular region so you can see uh, icici as you know the market mumbai and maharashtra and gujarat they are like big markets for capital markets and that is what is getting reflected here but for icici the kind of popularity they have in maharashtra and gujarat they may not have same kind of popularity in karnataka so karnataka's score is 54 but for parag parik the kind of popularity they are having in maharashtra and gujarat looks like karnataka is also you know very popular equally not equally but a uh, decent amount of popularity now this is a uh, insight to understand how different products you can take to you know to uh, fmcg companies or to product companies to auto companies i can compare which is present in more sector it is not exact replication but these keyword trend search may reflect people's interest and hence it might be related to popularity of products and their revenue concentration and all one more interesting thing which i've tried to do so this is as of now today what if we can go back in time so i have tried to create two snapshot if you see this is a snapshot between 2019 20 and this is the snapshot between 2021 22 so when you go in 2019 20 and see icici in parag parik parag parik was uh, you know not that popular in karnataka but now in 2022 when you come and see the popularity has increased over a period of time so so these are ways we can go beyond a simple search and we can try to compare two different products we can try to compare by time we can try to compare the impressions it has uh, we can try to you know get a sense of geographical distribution and lot of things so even when we do a lot of stock based research and we are trying to find how the company is doing how the product is doing that is another way to get some sense of you know the geographical distribution of data and what i showed you is uh, you know only for india uh, we can do that maybe across the world also so whether it comes to market timing uh, whether it comes to stock research google trends is very very useful uh, let me leave you with one last search uh, because i think the most popular thing in last one year was crypto and how this whole concept was misutilized across crypto even you know how the financial influencer community has misutilized crypto there can't be a bigger example and let us see if we could have seen google trends and got a sense of there is a froth in crypto so again i have gone to google trends and have typed these two things crypto and cryptocurrency and again see how this has picked peak uh, you know peaked up and this was the period of this is of course for last three years let's go a little higher in time frame so that i can show you the previous history also and this is the period in 2017 when crypto peaked and then it didn't do anything and then again recently you know crypto has a uh, had a very big peak and let let me again show you through the crypto charts how cryptos peaked out so here i have taken btc chart and you can see this is the period december 17 and from there the crypto almost crashed 82 percent and then you can see here this was december 17 
and this is where crypto peaked and then you know it started coming down don't think this is 50 this is 100 because crypto became more popular in 2020 if you would have seen this data up to 2018 maybe this was the peak and this time you would have got the score as 100 because i told you i showed you how overall google trends work and then from this period of to feb 2018 till uh december 20 there was not much interest in crypto and you can see this is the period till august september october and this is where you know the it, it didn't have you know much of interest and again the froth started building and then the froth peaked somewhere in april 2021 and you can see this was the period of may 2021 may or june 2021 and then again it fell almost 50 percent and you can see this is falling again and again some froth and interest built and again it finally peaked in february 2022 and this is your uh, you know october 2021 and this is march but it is on downward trend and now you can see it has fallen again almost 72 percent and this interest in crypto has also fallen from almost 75 score to almost uh you know 75 to 18 which is almost a 70 percent fall so here is another example of identifying different kinds of market bubble different asset classes of market bubble so uh, as i said always try to look for alternate data because when we get the validation from multiple sides the conviction of decision making becomes easier so after financial data after technical data after quants data here is a good example of alternate data which i call behavioral data to understand the market cycles and to do stock research. So I hope this video was useful. If it is useful, do like it, do share this with others and do subscribe to our channel if you are not subscribed uh, so that it can help us to reach to more and more people. I will see you with uh, another interesting video tomorrow, which is on our disc, which is a conversation on the banking and financial sectors. So I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.